Okay, welcome back. So now that we have Express and Mongoose all set up, it's time to learn how to do get and post requests. And then in our final video, we're going to learn how to do uh, update or put and delete or remove requests uh, for Mongoose and Backbone. And so now the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our scripts folder. So let's open up our um, public JS scripts folder or file. And the first thing we want to do is we want to add a URL to our blogs collection here. So this is going to be the URL that is requested every time we do a request to the server. And so we're going to have this be HTTP slash colon slash slash localhost. And since our server is running on port 3000, we're going to do that. And the specific URL, I'm going to do API slash blogs. Uh, that's just a good way to do that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is when we first load our page, we want to load in all the information from our database. So we're going to make a GET request to the server to uh, request all the blogs in our database. And so to do that, we're going to go to our initialize function here. And we're going to type in um, this dot model. That's going to basically refer to uh, this blog's collection here. What we want to do is, and since this collection is uh, referenced with the URL, we've get, we gave it a URL all the way up here. Um, so it's going to request data from this URL right here. We're going to do this dot model dot fetch. And we're going to pass in a um, success and error uh, response here. And so we're going to do success. If it's successful, we're going to uh, do a function. Response this is going to be what we get back from the server. We're just going to type this in for now. Um, and we're going to, since we have underscore set up here, we're going to do uh, underscore dot each. So for each response, because it's going to respond with multiple um, blogs, we're going to run a function. And we're actually going to do the response to JSON because it's not going to be in the format that we want at first. And the response is going to be item. We're just going to console log each of the items. And we're going to say successfully got, because we're making a get request, blog with ID. You'll see here from our first video, um, Mongoose automatically attaches an ID for each of uh, the things that we create for our database. And so we're just going to, uh, with ID, and we're going to do um, item dot underscore ID. And then for our error message, hopefully we'll never see this. It's going to be, we're just going to console log failed to get blogs. All right, so now that we have our fetch and success and error messages set up, what we need to do is set up our server to receive this get request. And remember, our get request is going to be made to this URL right here. So we're going to need to create a um, route for that URL. And usually we want to do this in a different folder to keep things modular. But we're just going to do it all in this folder just to keep it simple. So let's just type in routes here just to clearly separate that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to type in app.get. And the URL is going to be that one that we set up there. So API slash blogs. And when we request that, we're going to do function request response. And we're going to do blog. This is going to reference um, this schema or this uh, model right there. And blog.find. And so we're going to find uh, basically everything. And it's going to have error docs. We want to return the docs. So we're going to do response.send docs. And we're just going to also print out a success message just to be able to keep track of what's happening. We're going to do um, docs.foreach. 
This is just a method to iterate through each of the different documents that we get. And it's going to be item. And we're going to do um, console.log. We're just going to write in received a get request for. We're going to do the same thing as before ID and then plus item dot ID. So now let's test out our code by going back to our um, terminal and let's cancel, let's close our server and let's do a uh, node server. It'll say server on 3000. Let's go back to our browser. Let's uh, refresh our local host here and we should see these items um, automatically show up here. And we should see down here that we've received our success message. So we see successfully got blog with ID this and that. We'll see right here, received a get request for ID this and that. So that means that our code is working properly. So that is uh, great. So we have finished our get request functionality. Now it's time to write the code for our uh, post request. So let's go back to our scripts.js file here. And remember, we're going to, our post code is down here. So when we um, click on add blog, these things are going to happen. Um, so first, let's take out this right here because we um, will add in a new success message. And so to post to our server, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write down here. Uh, after we add the blog, we're going to do blog.save. So whatever this um, variable is here, we're going to save it. And again, we're going to pass in success and error messages. So let's do um, success is going to be, and it does need a first argument here. So we're going to type in uh, null, because we already have it defined. We don't need to pass in these in here again. But it does, the callback needs to be the uh, second argument here. And let's add in some semicolons here just to make that look nicer. So for the success, it's going to be a function. We're going to have a response. And let's just type in um, for our code here. Uh, we're going to console.log uh, successfully saved blog with, uh, again, we're going to do the same ID thing here. And we're going to type in um, response. Again, we need this to JSON here, uh, dot ID. And then for our error message. Let's do error function and it's going to be console.log failed to save blog and hopefully that won't show up. So now that we have uh, our success and error messages all set up for our save function. So basically this is going to make a post request to that same this same URL up here to the server. So now we need to receive that post request and respond to that. So let's again add in some semicolons here. And by the way, the yellow squares you see here are from JS Hint. It's a really nice um, plugin or package for Sublime. So let's type in app.post. So this is going to be what we do when we get a post request. And it's going to be to that same URL, API slash blogs. And it's going to be function request response and this time what we're going to do is we are going to uh, again let's type in a message well let's do the database part first so let's do um, blog so for the post request what we're going to do is we're going to do var blog so we're going to create a new blog it's going to be a new blog schema and inside the blog we want to uh, it's going to be a request body because we want the body of our post request. But we can't do this code just yet. We're going to need another. Um, we're going to need another node package because we can't do request body quite yet. Um, and so what we need to do is we need to do npm install. And so we need to in install and dash dash save. It's going to be body parser. This is going to be how we translate the post request into actual data that we can use. And so once we um, install that, what we're going to do is we're going to add in body parser up here. So we're going to do var body parser equals require 
body parser. And then down here, underneath the uh, app.use, we're going to type in uh, app.use body parser dot json. And that's going to basically set up body parser for us. And so now our post route here can properly receive the post request from this um, code right there. And so now let's add this blog to our database by typing in blog or blog lowercase dot save and it's going to have a function error doc and then we're going to response respond by sending the doc back to the client side. Let's add in these semicolons here and also let's add in um, just a console log here just to kind of again track what we're doing. So we're going to do console dot log. We're going to say received a post request and we're going to console log the data that we get from the post request. We're going to put that in a separate console log but it's going to be, uh, we're going to iterate through each of the different keys and properties of the post request. So let's do for var key in request body. That's what's sent to our server. We're going to console log the key plus colon space plus request dot body key right there. So now this should log um, the post request to our co console which will be very convenient for tracking what's going on. So now let's test our code to see if it works. So let's go back to our terminal and then our server is closed and let's type in node server and it'll say listening or server on 3000. So let's go back to our browser. Let's refresh it. We should still see, oh, oh, so the reason why it keeps on doing that is because um, every time we launch our server, it's going to uh, add a new uh, blog here. So let's just basically, I'm going to comment this out just for records purposes. So uh, we don't want to add another blog every time we load up our server. And so now if we go to our server, let's try adding a, again, we see these successfully got blog, got request. So our get requests are working. Now let's try the post request. Let's type in John, John's blog. And it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash John's blog dot com. And we're going to do add. And now it says successfully saved blog with ID this. And then we see here received a post request. And then we see the three pieces of data here. And now if we uh, refresh our browser, the data is still there, which means that it is stored in our database and it will not be lost every time we refresh our browser. Uh, so that is how you do get and post requests with Backbone to our server. And so we're going to stop here for this video. In the next video, we're going to cover how to do update or put as well as delete or remove requests from Backbone to the server. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure you check out that video as well. Bye for now.